Hey, what's going on YouTube? I was creating some presets for my blue microphone the other day on Logitech Geo, and I decided to create a couple of extra presets for other people's voice types in the community. So this video is going to be three parts. One is just going to be the logic behind the four presets that I created as well as the second part, how to upload and download on Logitech G Hub so that you can share your presets with your community members or, or friends or whoever. And then the third is just going to be a couple of simple mic tweaks if you need to make changes to a preset that you download so that um, you understand how to make it fit your voice. Because not everybody's voice is exactly the same. And so it's important to just understand what subtle changes can I make to make myself sound better. So. First things first, we're going to talk about the logic behind the preset. So I'm going to go into the Yeti microphone here and I created four. All right. This one's my favorite. It is the clear voice preset and it just is a clear sounding. The bass isn't too low. The, the you know, the highs aren't too sharp. And so um, it's just a nice clear voice for, for any voice type. Uh, the bass boosted one is just where the voice EQ is turned up a little bit. It's amplified a little bit, right? And then I created a high voice preset for maybe a younger audience or um, people that maybe have a little bit higher pitches in their voice. This one you'll see has a little bit more amplification of the lows to try and get them to have a more balanced voice type. And then the low is, is the exact opposite. I kind of try and take down the bass a little bit and and so when the people are talking with an extremely low voice, uh, they're not like thundering the microphone, right? So I'm just going to play all these voice types here really quickly on a three second mic test so you can hear the difference between each of them. Again, not every single one is going to work for my voice type, but it might work for yours. And then I'll show you how to upload and download. So let's go through all four here really quick. I'm just going to start from the top. This is the bass boosted one. This is a mic test for YouTube. This is a mic test for YouTube. Clear voice. This is a mic test for YouTube. Here the bass is just a little bit lower. This is a mic test for YouTube. High voice. This is a mic test for YouTube. A little bit deeper, right? This is a mic test for YouTube. Doesn't fit my voice very well. This is a mic test for YouTube. This is a mic test for YouTube. And these ones I'm still kind of editing a little bit because I don't really have a high voice and I don't really have the lowest voice out there. So, you know, take these with a grain of salt. But these I do think are, are fairly good um, presets here. So let me show you how to upload and download these here really quickly. First things first, once you have a preset that you like, if you want to share it, if you want to upload, you're looking at the four buttons here really quick. X is delete. This is copy. This is edit. And then this is share, right? So I'm going to click. I'm going to actually, I already shared this one. So I'm going to share this one here. So I'm going to click share. I apologize because you're hearing my bass boosted voice now. Um, we'll just call it clear voice skip ahead 10 seconds if uh you don't like my slow typing <laughs> okay so then i'm going to add a preset here these are um and your preset description um face boosted for ooh, for youtube Okay, one of the tags that I like on mine is people sometimes search my name on Logitech G Hub. So I like to just put my name and then Yeti as well here. And I'll tell you why I put the Yeti tag here. Make this pu uh, preset public. Boom, you've published. It's uploading now to the um, community bank. And it says down here, notice it says it's going to review the upload. Okay, so once somebody reviews the upload and determines that, yeah, these are actually pretty clean settings, we're going to put them into our community uh, bank, then you'll be able to find it. So let's say you want to download one of these presets here really quickly. You can go into browse. And like I said, I set my name as a tag for a reason, right? So when I search that, you'll notice that here is the preset, the clear voice preset that I personally liked better than the bass boosted one, which I think you're still on. I apologize. Sorry about that. Um, so you'll notice something right off the bat here, something I did want to make very clear so that you don't waste your time. Every one of these presets have a mic that it works with, right? And you can only download these presets for your microphone. And so making sure if you have a Yeti Nano that you are using a Yeti Nano preset. Okay, that's very important. 
the Yeti Nano presets will not work with a standard Yeti. It will not work with a um, Yeti, whatever it was, Wow Edition. Um, if it's a different type of microphone or different type of hardware, the presets don't work with it. So you have to filter by the preset that works with your microphone. That being said, if you don't have a standard edition Blue Yeti like mine, then I'm gonna show you all the settings here really quick so that you can tweak your settings to look like mine. I did do another YouTube video that you've probably seen before. It's a little bit more popular than this video probably will be based on the settings and I go through them, but I'm gonna go through them here really quickly here. Um, bass boost, I'm just gonna click through them. So if you need to pause, pause please. Um, clear voice. High voice and low voice. Okay. And some people said, well, there's, there's dots on the right here. A lot of these have a width of one or two. I believe this one I like to have almost all of them set to one. Okay. Ones. Ones. And then the frequency, the voice EQ frequency here. And then uh, this one should be ones, right? Signal cleanup settings, these are basically all the same for all presets, so um, I'm just gonna show them here really quick. So finishing up here with some simple tricks, I have a lot of people that come through the other YouTube video and they say, well, how do I drown out key clicks or how do I drown out this air conditioning or, or whatnot? So two ways, and keep in mind that all environments are a little bit different when it comes to audio, so you really gotta kind of analyze. But um, a couple of things here, so get your microphone off the desk, obviously. Get it um, away from the keyboard as much as possible, right? Um, another thing is using the voice pattern of cardioid on the back. It kind of looks like a heart almost. So it'll keep any sounds coming from this direction of the mic from going into the microphone and it allows anything coming from this direction to go in, making sure that you're talking through the obviously the uh, blue logo, right? And then one last thing here is the noise gate. So a noise gate, basically what it does is there's a simple threshold, okay? And you set the threshold and you say, okay, I don't want anything below this frequency to be allowed into my microphone. And I have that set at negative 25. So anything that's kind of this really low noise um, and air conditioning or something like that, where there's just very quiet, um, like steady noise, it will drown that out. But you gotta be careful lowering this too much because if you lower this too much, you can hear that my voice gets really quiet, right? So you wanna make sure that, you know, it's at a reasonable tick, but you don't want to allow everything through this gate. So if you're hearing key clicks, what you could do is you could turn up the gate and turn up the gain on your microphone and try something like that, where Again, if you're turning up the gate, it's going to quiet you down. So you're going to turn up the uh, gain to kind of counteract that quietness. And hopefully the gate will still drown out all the other extra things around you. So that would be a simple trick that I would try. All right. Um, if this video did help in any way, please maybe consider smashing the sub button. We are pushing a thousand subscribers and that does help the trem uh, channel tremendously. So maybe consider subscribing, throw a like on the video if it did help in any way. Um, you will see all of these presets in the browse section. All you have to do is search my name, um, T-R-I-I-G-G-U-H, right? So um, once you search that, you should see all the presets on the community browse page. And thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.